Well, so today I'm going to be sharing with you what I got Alistair for Christmas. He is 14 and a half. He is been my hardest to buy for and that's purely based on just I don't know he doesn't specifically want for anything I've asked him so many times is there anything you want for Christmas anything you just you know a new PS4 game and you you know anything and he honestly has given me nothing absolutely nothing so I'm going off blind and with teenagers especially I just find you know you can buy all the basic stuff like the stuff that they need and and you'll see I have gone very just like just useful bits that I know he needs and he's going to like and whatever I find at the end of the day you're really trying to buy something that they're going to open and going to go wow and that is really hard to do at this age um like I said he doesn't specifically want anything um, he's not craving for anything like Violet had a list he's you know on this Miles had something that he really wanted and I know you know they're gonna be buzzing but for Alistair he's so much more reserved and I just yeah I just I just ah oh, why are they so much more harder to please I know he's gonna be grateful on the day I know he's gonna love everything he gets but for a parent the, the main thing you want is for your child, when they're opening their presents, all you are looking at is their faces and reaction of things. I just want him to be like, wow. And I struggle with that with him, I really do. Um, but anyway, I managed to gather up some bits and I think he's gonna love them. I know he's gonna love them. I mean, he's grateful for everything he gets anyway, but yeah, he wasn't my easiest to buy for, um, like I said you just go down the basic route with children um so anyway i'm going to start off with what should i start off with so one item which i know that he doesn't have is a watch so i ended up getting him this adidas watch i can show you um i got it in the black friday sale so if i can get it out i've not actually really looked at it but it's just basically, it looks like a really cool sports watch. It's got the film on the front at the minute. But um, yeah, it looks smart. It, it's not gadgety. Years ago, they had the kind of fake Apple watches. And the battery life just went in them so quickly. And he just would never wear it. But I think just a, a basic watch that looks smart, I just thought would be really, really nice. It's got the Adidas logo on there. And the strap's really, really nice. Um, it looks comfortable and yeah, I decided to get him a nice watch. Last year he got a bike for Christmas and I thought I would get a couple of bits to go on it because actually he doesn't have these bits. So I got him this bottle, water bottle holder. So it's got the actual metal bit which you um, screw on with the screws with the bottle. And this was five pounds from B&M. This is kind of in there like car bike um, DIY section they've got loads of stuff for bikes by the way so I got him that that was five pounds I also got him this phone holder phone bike case water water resistant weather resistant reflective stripe it's got a handy pouch as well so you can actually put stuff in here whether it's keys a snack the phone zips in on the top that was eight pounds, which I thought was really, really reasonable as well. I was eyeing one of these up on Amazon and it was definitely more expensive. You can even put the, if they have wired headphones, you can put the cable through. Um, yeah, so I got him that. And then also I got him a puncture repair kit. This was three pounds 50. This could, yeah, this could have been a good stocking filler, but I've already done the stockings. Um, but yeah, again, very, very useful. That can go in that little bag. Um, I got him a new pair of trainers. His feet, oh my God, is so big. Um, so he's a nine and a half to 10 men's size now. I saw these trainers. He basically always, for his like wide feet, he's got wide feet, high end step. He loves the Adidas trainers. They're super comfy. And he's got, he's got a pair for school, obviously for PE. But I thought I'd get him a bit of a different pair. Most of his trainers are just, black he likes just full black trainers but these ones as you can see had the gray sole with the gray stripes 
I can't remember how much these were. I think these were about £45. Again, in the sale. I always find stuff in the sale. Um, I thought they were really smart and I really think he's going to love those for like a nice new pair of trainers. I also got him this randomly Connect 4. This is like a, uh, not a metal. This is a wooden Connect 4. I saw this in uh, TK Maxx. It just looks really smart and um, it will be a good Christmas game to play. So I'm going to put that towards his gifts. Again, from HomeSense TK Maxx, I got him this tabletop air football. Um, so it's basically like air hockey for the tabletop. This was $5.99. Again, in HomeSense TK Maxx, they have so many different games. I thought this was cool. They could play it on the table or they could play it on our hard floor. Um, I think this would be a good one for Miles as well. So he's also got that. Every year I get him the Guinness World Records book. He's got the last, I want to say, seven, eight years worth. And we all love having a good read of that. So um, I got him this ages ago from Costco. I think it was about £10. Um, his, one of his main gifts is some AirPods. I got him and Violet both a pair from... Amazon Prime Day sale in summer for like £80 each. Um, can't recommend these enough. And uh, this is something he doesn't have and I really think he will love these. Um, I got him a new water bottle, not for his bike. Um, I did an order on Gymshark and he actually has one from last year, but this one was on offer and I thought it was really smart. He's always taking water bottles when he goes to Jiu Jitsu and Fight Club and whatever. Um, I just thought I'd get him a new one. Really nice size. Last few things. I got him, again, this card game from HomeSense. Mushroom Mania. This was, I think, £4.99. Um, yeah, three to seven players. Apparently, it's a really good game because I actually um, looked it up on Amazon just to see if it was any good, like reading the reviews and stuff. But apparently, it's a really good game. Again, we can play this over Christmas or whatever when we have friends and family over. Um, so yeah, I got him that Mushroom Mania. It's a card game. I got him a new aftershave. So this was actually from Primark and it was only £5. I always usually get him one from Next and that's usually double the price and I'm sure it's smaller. So um, I actually, they keep a lot of theirs out so you can smell the scents. Um, so I ended up getting him this one. Um... So yeah, he's got a new light aftershave. And then I also got him this head thing. I saw this on TikTok shop. They do them on Amazon as well, but you basically put it in the freezer and then you put it over your head. And apparently it's amazing at soothing your head from a bad headache or a migraine. Um, and it had really good reviews. And I think this is gonna be handy for all of us because I'm sure I'm gonna nick it at some point. So last things I'm gonna be showing you are some clothing and then one big item. So I did, like I said, I did a massive, not massive, but I did buy a few things from the Gymshark sale. I also did that last year and he still has got those clothes. They are still in really good condition. He, ha he wears shorts and t-shirt all year round pretty much. Um, they have massive, they had a brilliant sale. Um, so I got him some bits from there. Um, last year I bought him the men's extra small. This year I've gotten men's small. Um, but he still fits in both. So he's got, I'm going to go through this really quickly. So he's got some Gymshark shorts. Again, he's got some similar. Um, another pair of shorts. These are all cotton based ones. Um, I got him Gymshark t-shirt. This is kind of one of their oversized tees which is really smart. As you can see, he's very neutral. He doesn't really like colour. Um, I've got him a sweatshirt, which is really smart. That's the back. And then that's the front. Really nice. Um, and then another sweatshirt as well. Just some basic bits that I know he's going to wear. Um, and he really likes the brand. And honestly, the quality is so, so good. Um, so I've got those. And then I ordered a few things from Hollister because again, he, I tend to buy his stuff from there in the men's section, size small, extra small. Over the years, I've always bought from there in the sales. They didn't have a massive amount, but I did get him a pair of joggers. They looked like this. I think these were nine pounds from originally, like originally 29 pounds. I got them for nine pounds. Um, it's just got the Hollister sign. They're kind of like this 
grey colour. He's got like a marley colour already, so I thought the grey was quite nice. And then also, of course, some more shorts. He's definitely a short guy all year round. Um, also, I got him, when I ordered Violet her coat, I got him a waterproof. He has a coat from last year, which he still wears and it still fits him. So I actually got him a waterproof. He refuses to wear a coat to school. He just says it's too bulky because it's got layers, obviously, with blazer and whatever. But I thought if I get him a more like a waterproof, it might he might take it to school. He might not. It doesn't really matter, but it will be useful either way. This is in the men's small section. Men's small, I got him. Um, yeah, really nice and soft, really nice quality. It's not like, you know, like the rigid Packamac feel of some like waterproof jackets. This isn't like that. It's super soft. Um, but yeah, it's just a basic uh, jacket, waterproof jacket. It's got the Adidas sign, size small men's. And then the last thing I'm going to show you, I can't actually pick it up because it's so big. As you can see, I got Alistair a new rocker gaming chair. Um, I got this from Smith's, by the way. That is what it looks like. I ended up going for a gaming chair because he obviously likes to game. He stands up 90% of the time because he doesn't have a chair and his bed is kind of to one side compared to where his TV is. So I thought I'd get him a chair. Um, again, if it's, I suppose the only good thing about buying stuff like this is that I did say to the man, because I literally went into Smith's, had a look at all the chairs. There was the cheaper one. This was mid-range. I didn't want to pay like, some of them are so expensive. This was mid-range. It's got no like plug in you can get ones with like bits where you can plug into it i wanted one that you could adjust to make sure it was a good height um it's yeah you can adjust the back as well but um i did say to the man like you know for whatever reason alistair was like don't really want a chair don't really need it i mean he's got the room for it in his room he's got a desk as well but he just doesn't have a chair um originally we got rid of his desk chair it's because obviously years ago he had carpet and it just didn't swivel but now he's got a hard floor this would work perfectly but yeah I said to the man like you know for whatever reason he just doesn't really want a chair then he did say as long as you don't open it we could return it but I think it would be fine I think he would like it I think it would be so useful like I said he stands up he stands up and literally looks at his tv and plays his games so I think this is going to be useful um but yeah that is pretty much everything I've got Alistair like I said like I I think the, the biggest struggle for me is not the fact that I can't buy him just basics, which is what I've done. It's just, I don't know, just seeing his face be excited. Teenagers are so hard to please. Um, like I said, I know he's going to be grateful for whatever he gets, but I don't know, just for him to be like, wow, like I really wanted that. Or he's given me nothing and it's just, I've just found it, I've just... I found it hard because, like I said, I've I've been able to like buy the other kids like stuff that I know they would really love and really want and they've asked for, and then Alistair's just been like meh, whatever, I don't really want anything. <laughs> like so, yeah. Anyway, I think I've done pretty well, um, considering I you know I I didn't really know what to get him. I think I've got him some really useful, lovely bits. But anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it's given you some ideas, some inspiration, and I will see you in my next one. Thanks so much for watching.